force. So let me take a conductor. And I'll energize it with the help, with the help of a cell. EMF difference. So we know a current I will flow through it. So this sign will be positive, negative. Then an electric field will be set up inside the conductor. And let's assume positive charge. <coughs> so conventional positive charge. And it will be drifting with a this speed VD. So this particular is having a charge Q. And let me introduce a magnetic field. Whether this conductor is immersed in a magnetic field. This is external magnetic field not field produced by a wire the external field what is b b is an external field okay fine this one so look at this the magnetic field will interact with this charge particle also though the this particular charge particle are nothing but opposite to this you assume an electron <coughs> because atoms will not move in fact electron will be moving this magnetic field will even interact with electrons these atoms, what they do, they'll interact with this electrons here. So that particular electron will experience a force. So, so that negative charge, all you'll get confused. So that will like me taking, I'm taking positive charge. So apply the Fleming's left hand rule. This will be B bar into the plane velocity. So the force acting on this elemental charge, let it be DF. So what is the formula for this? As we know, so DF is equal to Q into BD into B or the charge of this let it be DQ and a current tie is flowing so what is the current tie how we define I the current I we define DQ by DT this DQ I'll replace it I DT what is further this speed so let me take a small elemental strip so this speed can also define it as rate of change of displacement or delta x by delta d anything if you want you write it so let, let me just stick on to the basic mathematics this, this speed is equal to dx by dt so this will become dx this is dt dt get eliminated so i b dx this is what the force acting on the small charge in this one. So no further, I'll integrate it. So this should be F equal to I B. So what is the length of the conductor? Let it be L. So I'm getting I B L. Or in the vector form, I can write it as I into L bar cross V bar. Because the direction of the drift velocity is what the direction of conventional current. So if so, the, 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 this is called like an ampere force. This one. So it depends on what all. Uh, what's the length is the length is the scalar? The direction of current will be the direction of L bar. So how do that force should act here according to this one, L, L bar. So the direction of current is from right to left here and B bar. So again, what is this Fleming's left hand rule? Again, the term. Okay, this will be the F bar. This will be the B bar. And this will be the I. What's the L bar it is. And what is L bar? The direction of current will be the, the L bar across the conductor. L bar cross B bar. So right hand screw rule. If you curl from L bar to B bar, open up the thumb, the thumb will give the direction of F that one. So almost next chapter, electromagnetic induction, very widely using. So next again for almost you can say one month, 
will be dealing all the numericals related to this amperes force only another one month so from now onwards almost till one month what happen will be just dealing with all our application problems related to this ampere force only <coughs> okay there is a basic idea this one so what is the tf what is f f on, on what i brought it uh, the conductor made up of several charges so like this the resultant of the force experience the resultant force experienced by all the charges is what that ampere force i'll call it and that will act on the conductor so in a simplest way if there is a conductor a current carrying wire this one if it is placed in a magnetic field in what direction it like pent force so it will be upward there is a wire itself so there is a wire you write it so put b bar and in direction of current put the length of the conductor the force f will be upward now now if i change the direction of <coughs> magnetic field on the same wire let b bar be the out of the plane then the force will be acting in this direction okay go this one this is not the direction of b bar b bar out of the plane into the plane and uh, now <coughs> uh, sir this b bar is what produced by the current flowing in a wire no this is the external field a current carrying wire kept in a external field this b bar is not due to current that is flowing in a wire this is the external field i am making things clear So what is the conclusion now? If a current carrying conductor kept in an external field of magnetic strength B, then it's going to experience a force, and that is given by this one, F equal to I L bar cross B bar. So if you write the magnitude, it will be I L B sine theta, or effective. What is what is theta? Angle between L bar and B bar. Several books given different method, and just brought a simplified one, which is there in book. That that one I brought it. Or you can also assume uh, dQ. What is dQ? Further, you can write eta a dx. The force experienced by the charge present in this strip. Calculate the force on the total charge present in this strip. Then uh, current density like that you can introduce, and finally you arrive here only. And now, what is the thing about this? It's a conservative force. it's a conservative force so now you have to ask questions are where you are showing this f because the charges are present everywhere you know and what is this f the total force exerted by the field on the current carrying wire and here open i am showing through it will act through center of mass here it will pass through the center of mass it all depends upon again the uh, the what happen the magnetic field how the magnetic field is <coughs> in that particular region you should not conclude that always it acts through center of mass of the conducting wire that one here the field is uniform i am taking through the point of action will be through the center of mass if the b is variable then the point of action need not be at the center of mass so as we take the numericals you come across the situation so this is about the in interaction part okay let's do one thing just analyze this various situations So first, there's a wire. B bar into the plane. So what is the length of this? Let it be L. Next again, I will take another wire, which is a semicircle. What is the effective length of this? Will be again equal to L according to the, the diagram. And again, the same current I flows. Again, B bar 